What's up, Trade Hackers? Happy Wednesday. Today's January 15th. So the new trade deal between U.S. and China was signed today. What does that mean? Well, it means that China agreed to purchase an additional $200 billion in U.S. goods over the next couple years. It means that China agreed to crack down on intellectual property theft. And what did the markets do? Well, the s and P's up about five, NASDAQ down three, Dow up 94, and the Russell up a little over six. Oil was down a little bit, gold was up a little bit, Natty Gas was down almost 3%. So not a ton of movement in the market. So what did we do today? We added to our position in Nat Gas, so we sold some premium in one of the few high implied volatility symbols that's still on the board. Did some closing trades. We closed out an iron duck in AutoZone, closed out an iron duck in Beyond Meat, and closed out an iron duck in oil. So took some profits in those. And then some other big movers that we're seeing here today. One is Target. So Target was down over 8% at one point, closed down about 6.5% on kind of some guidance going forward of lower lower sales forecasts. So saw a little hit taken in Target, which interestingly enough, the implied volatility contracted significantly even with the stock going down. The other big mover, Beyond Meat, continues to move around a lot. We closed out of our position today on the move lower, but Beyond Meat down over 8.5%. So what a, what a wild ride we're seeing in Beyond Meat. Just is shot up, and then today they got downgraded by one of the banks, and so down almost eight and a half percent. So we'll look for additional opportunities. But we entered a, a trade in Beyond Meat, got out the very next day, booked a profit. So volatility can be a good thing if you trade it right. Some of the other things going on: uh, earnings. So earnings announced in Bank of America, and Bank of America is down a little bit. Nothing, nothing drastic. United Healthcare up a little bit. So again, nothing nothing dramatic. Let's see a couple other banks, US Bank, USB down a little bit and lastly Goldman Sachs started down after the announcement and then rallied back up to end the day fairly unchanged on the trading session. A couple tomorrow that I'll be looking at. I didn't make any trades in these just because the implied volatility is not great, but the reason I'm watching this one, CSCHW, I think it is, Schwab, just because, you know, a couple months ago, as far as how it affects us, is, you know, they purchased TD Ameritrade for $26 billion a couple months ago. So interested to see what they have to say on the earnings call and their announcements, see if there's any major effects or um, anything going on with that. So that's before the market opens tomorrow. And then the other major one, Morgan Stanley. So they're set to announce. Again, look at implied volatility, super low. Ivy percentile only at 18. Ivy rank at 26. So not looking to do anything in those, but we'll be watching to see the reaction of the announcement. So that's all I got for you this evening. Have a great one. Talk to you tomorrow.